Hello and welcome. In this video, we want to find derivative of a function using definitions of derivative. Maybe you wonder why I am saying definitions. Because for finding f prime of a, we can use these two formulas. Obviously, these two formulas are equivalent to each other. But sometimes for finding derivative of a function at a point, using one of them is easier for finding derivative of the function. So for the function f of t equals 1 over t to the 2 plus 5 we want to find f prime of a. First, I am going to show you how you can find f prime of a with this formula. And after that, I will show you how you can find f prime of a with the other formula. And if you want to learn more about finding derivative using definition of derivative, watch my video about this topic let us start. f prime of a equals to limit in the denominator we have to write x minus a but in numerator we have to find f of x and f of a f of t is 1 over t2 plus 5 so f of x would be 1 over x to the 2 plus 5 minus f of a it is 1 over a to the 2 plus 5 as x approaches a attention if you want you can rewrite this formula in terms of t because the given function is in terms of variable t if you want instead of saying f prime of a equals limit of f of x minus f of a over x minus a you can say limit of f of t minus f of a over t minus a when t approaches a but i prefer to keep the original formula and i am not going to change the name of the variable x to t now we have to find a way for simplifying numerator in numerator we have two fractions 1 over x to the 2 plus 5 and 1 over a to the 2 plus 5 usually for simplifying fractions finding the common denominator and merging combining those two fractions is not a bad idea and it works here to simplify numerator but if we can find a way to get rid of denominators it would be a better idea it's a better method so to get rid of the denominators simply we can multiply numerator and denominator by something that help us to get rid of the denominators to get rid of the denominators, we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the common denominator. Common denominator between these two denominators is x to the 2 plus 5 times a to the 2 plus 5. And of course, don't forget to multiply the denominator by that. Now, if we multiply the numerator by this what happens then we have limit x approaches a of when we multiply this expression in the first fraction x to the 2 plus 5 and x to the 2 plus 5 from denominator cancel each other and then we have a to the 2 a to the power of 2 plus 5 minus don't forget this minus minus now if we multiply 
this expression. In the second fraction, this part of this expression cancels with this because they are the same and only x to the 2 plus 5 remains in numerator. So in numerator we have minus x to the 2 plus 5 x to the 2 plus 5 and in denominator just we have to write the denominators x minus a times x2 plus 5 times a2 plus 5 if we apply this negative and this bracket we have negative x2 negative 5 so let me rewrite it so in numerator we have minus x2 minus 5 5 and 5 cancel each other in numerator this cancels with this and so after that we have limit x approaches a of a2 minus x2 over x minus a times x2 plus 5 times a2 plus 5 we know that when we use definition of derivative to find derivative of the function in the process of finding the limit almost always this should happen that something from numerator should cancel with something from denominator and basically the thing that should cancel is this x minus a that from the beginning we have here we have to simplify numerator and finally we have to have find something we have to find something in numerator that cancels with this look in the numerator we have a to the 2 minus x to the 2 by the identity of difference of squares we can rewrite numerator as a minus x times a plus x and we write the denominator x to the 2 plus 5 times a to the 2 plus 5 a minus x and x minus a these two cancel each other but attention they are not exactly the same they are negative of each other x minus a the other one is a minus x so they are not completely the same so when you cancel them when we cancel this a minus x with x minus a a negative one remains here or if you want you can put this negative for the denominator a negative remains for so we cancel these two by each other but a negative remains because these are negative of each other they are not exactly the same after we simplified the common term between numerator and denominator we have limit negative a plus x in numerator and in denominator we have x2 plus 5 times a2 plus 5 as x approaches a now if we plug in a for x in numerator we can find the limit if we plug in a for x in numerator we have a plus a is 2a so the numerator would be negative 2a if we plug in a here it would be a2 plus 5 and the other one is also a to the 2 plus 5 a to the 2 plus 5 times a to the 2 plus 5 is a to the 2 plus 5 all to the power of 2 so the derivative of the given function at the point a is negative 2a over a to the 2 plus 5 all to the 2 if you are familiar with the derivative rules if you use quotient rule to find derivative of these functions simply you can check that derivative of 1 over t to the 2 plus 5 is this expression or is this expression that we find here let me show you the other way that you can find derivative of this function 
at a. We want to find f prime of a. So we want to use the second formula. Let me rewrite the second formula here. It was f prime of a equals limit of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h as h approaches zero and don't forget the function was f of t so let me make it f of t f of t is 1 over t2 plus 5 this was the function now f prime of a would be limit of in denominator only we have h as h approaches but numerator f of t is 1 over t2 plus 5 so what is f of a plus h simply replace t with a plus h so it would be 1 over a plus h to the 2 plus 5 minus f of a so 1 over a to the 2 plus 5 now we have to find this limit similar to the previous method previous formula to get rid of numerator expressions numerator fractions the fractions that are in numerator we are going to multiply this by the common denominator between the fractions so for finding this limit we multiply the numerator by the common denominator between the fraction the common denominator is a plus h to the 2 plus 5 times by a to the 2 plus 5 and don't forget to write same thing in the denominator a plus h to the 2 plus 5 times a 2 plus 5 now when we multiply big bracket here by the first fraction what happens this cancels with this but what remains only a to the 2 plus 5 remains so in this way we can get rid of the fractions so in numerator only we have a to the 2 plus 5 minus when we multiply this expression in the second bracket in the second fraction a to the 2 plus 5 and a to the 2 plus 5 cancels and only this remains so minus put a bracket a plus h to the 2 plus 5 remains but in denominator we have h times by the other denominator in the right side times by a plus h to the 2 plus 5 times by a to the 2 plus 5 now we have to simplify this numerator do not touch this never to try to for example multiply these two brackets no leave it in the factor form the part that you have to simplify is numerator because we are looking for something with h here to cancel it with this h from the denominator so simplify numerator but if you want to simplify numerator first you have to expand this a plus h to the 2 let me show you how you can find that how you can expand it if you know the identity related to this if you know this identity a plus b to the 2 is a2 2 a b b2 then you know that this is a2 2 a h h to the 2 
but let's say we don't know that identity so for finding that for expanding that simply we can multiply it by itself so it is a plus h times a plus h and it would be a times a if we foil it it's a2 a h h a or i prefer to say a h again and h to the 2 these two are like each other so they become 2 a h so a plus h to the 2 is a2 2 a h and h to the 2 so back to our limit so in numerator we have a to the 2 plus 5 you don't need to put that bracket minus don't forget we have a minus then open the bracket a2 2 a h h2 plus 5 over h times a plus h to the 2 plus 5 times a2 plus 5 as h approaches 0 look at the numerator we can simplify a few terms in numerator limit h approaches 0 a to the 2 minus a to the 2 don't forget this minus for is for everything that is in this bracket so a2 minus a2 cancel each other 5 and minus 5 they also cancel each other which terms remains in numerator negative 2a h and minus h to the 2 and in denominator we have h times a plus h to the 2 plus 5 times by a 2 plus 5 look at this numerator between this term and this term as you can see we have h in common so we factor h and then we cancel h from numerator with h from denominator if we can if we factor h then we get limit h times negative 2a minus h over h times a plus h to the 2 plus 5 times a 2 plus 5 the h from numerator cancels with h from denominator then we have limit of negative 2a minus h and in denominator we have a plus h to the 2 plus 5 times a to the 2 plus 5 now if you plug in 0 for h numerator is negative 2a h is 0 it is gone and in the denominator we have h is 0 so this would be a to the 2 plus 5 but the other bracket is also a to the 2 plus 5 a to the 2 plus 5 times by itself is a to the 2 plus 5 to the power of 2 and this is the derivative of that given function at a let's compare this answer with the answer that we got from the previous formula negative 2a over a to the 2 plus 5 to the 2 as you can see the answers are the same but it depends to you which formula do you prefer to use for finding f prime of a I hope you liked this video, see you in the next videos.